मॉर्निंग एंड जय हिंद माई डियर लविंग चिल्ड्रेन होप यू आर ऑल सेफ एंड स्टेइंग एट होम आर यू ऑल स्टडिंग योर वेकेशंस आर वेरी नियर बट आर यू ऑल वेटिंग फॉर योर वेकेशंस दिस टाइम टू स्टार्ट एवरी ईयर आई वॉच द एक्साइटमेंट इन द चिल्ड्रेन विद द वेकेशंस बट दिस ईयर इट्स अ बिट डिफरेंट somewhat we are all bored staying at home and so i think you too are our vacations are always full of excitement as we usually plan for a tour or a visit to a near dear one's place isn't it children many of you love to enjoy the lustrous mountains some enjoys the blue vast sea but some of us enjoys the jungle safaris yes or no as i enjoy adventures in a jungle now when we go i know many of you have visited many of this reserve forests but when you go there what do you expect you expect to see the wild animals isn't it live isn't it children so each and every animal it is born or it exists in this world with its unique identity like the humans the animals also have their unique identity when we see a huge yellow striped animal with a roar what is that it's a tiger and when we see a black polka dot yellow fast moving that to ferocious what animal is that it's a leopard when we see a huge black animal that is a bear the crocodiles the birds every creatures is unique with its identity now today why i am discussing all these things yes children the fourth poetry how to tell wild animals by carlin wells is a poem which showcases all this unique identities of the animals of the jungle so let us start are you ready with me we'll start the poetry with the introduction in the poem the poet has explained the characteristics of various wild animals in a very funny way in a very humorous way she has used the language in a way that it generates humor she is introducing the reader to various kinds of wild animals like asian lion the bengal tiger the bear etc explaining each of the animals in a very very humorous way i i am sure that you would love enjoying reading this poem now let us i've collected some informations about the poet uh, let us discuss them carlin wells from 1862 to 1942 was an american writer who was famous for books based on mysteries his children most enjoys children mystery books her famous works are at the sign of the phoenix 1896 the jingle book 1899 the story of betty 1899 etc here is a photograph of carolyn wells now what are the objectives why are we going to learn this poem first is we would learn to identify the variety of wild animal species next 
we would learn to differentiate between the carnivorous herbivorous and omnivorous now children do i have to teach you which animals are carnivorous which animals are herbivorous or omnivorous no if you know it please write in my comment box start writing what are the omnivorous herbivorous and the carnivorous animals now what else we will learn we will learn to identify the animal habitats okay what are the habits of the animal now what is the message when i teach you a chapter i obviously i just ask you to learn the moral or the message each and every chapter is having a message and the messages are very important as they give a shape to our life yes children this humorous poem suggests some dangerous ways to identify wild animals the poet gives a beautiful description of the asian lion and the bengal tiger then he points out about the leopard and the bear we don't call it bear we call it bear leopard he describes the hyena for its smiling face and the crocodile for its tears all right did you understand children now i'll be going through the central idea of the poem the poet carlin wells treats even ferocious animals and beasts with a coat of gentle but weird humor if you see a huge terrible beast coming to you in the eastern forest and if you are dying when he roars then it is known you know it as an asian lion the humor is created by various beasts of prey differently the bengal tiger is noble but eats you the moment he notices you the leopard which peppered spots will only lap and lap again the seemingly friendly hug leads to fatal results who hugs you the bear the crocodile's weeping and the hyena's merry but weird smile deceive their victims so children in a very humorous manner in a funny manner the poet has described each and every animal now what is the style the style of the poem is humorous this humorous poem suggests some dangerous way to identify wild animals the use of words and emotions are not only humorous but ironical as well it is ironical that the noble tig bengal tiger eats you the moment he sees you but he is a noble animal but he'll not leave you if if it happens to meet you it does no good to roar with pain pain when you are in front of the spotted leopard the friendly hug of the bear is deadly the weird but merry smile of hyenas and whipping of crocodiles trap their victims to death okay and now the rhyme scheme of the stanzas is a b a b c c each stanza rhyme scheme i'll be discussing with you all the poet talk takes the liberties with the language to create the desired poetic effect he creates a, a beautifully he has affected uh, he has put his poetic skills in effect you can just imagine that you are in a jungle and you are just in front of a leopard or a tiger or a bear for example the words lep and lep in the third stanza are deliberately not spelt correctly these words are just used to create a rhythm a rhythmic effect with 
the animal leopard all right here is a leopard picture you can see yes and now i will start the explanation of the first answer if you ever if you ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east and if there should to you advance a large tawny a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you are dying you will know it is the asian lion now first we i'll be explaining the word meanings the advance to move forward towards in order to attack or threaten tawny means brownish yellow in color beasts a dangerous animal word meanings children you have to learn and you have to use this new words in your answers now i'll be explaining the poet here cautions the reader against the wild beasts found in the jungle children he says that if by chance you happen to go to any forest in the east you are likely to encounter a huge and terrible animal moving forward towards you you will notice that it is its brownish color brownish yellow in color and if that beast roars loudly at you you will feel that you are going to die due to fear then you will come to know that it is the asian lion all right now we come to the second paragraph the second paragraph says or if some time when roaming round a noble wild beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground just notice if he eats you this simple rule may help you learn the bengal tiger do discern the noble means here very impressive in size ground means the background discern means make out identify children please go through the word meanings and learn them the learn the meanings also and use them in your answers now next explanations the poet says that it is very likely that while roaming in the forest you are greeted by a wild beast the wild animal is very impressive in size and his majestic body is covered with black stripes on yellow hide the poet cautions that if the reader notices this beast and that if he eats them then this simple rule will teach them that it is a bengal tiger children with very simple language simple words i have explained the stanzas hope that you will be understanding it coming to the third stanza if strolling forth a beast you view whose hide with spot is peppered as soon as he has leapt on you you will know it is the leopard it it will do no good to roar with pain he will only leap and leap again this leap and leap this this words are used this phrase is used deliberately the spellings are not correct but it's used deliberately to make an rhythmic effect, effect with the word leopard the word meaning strolling to walk somewhere in a slow relaxed way forth forward peppered here covered with spots leapt to jump high or a long way hide animal skin now coming to the fourth parag uh, explanation of the third paragraph the poet here helps the readers to identify a leopard he says that if you happen to walk in the forest you might encounter a beast with spots on his skin when this wild beast will jump at you you will understand that it is a leopard and he and as he will keep jumping on you and will tear you you apart moreover it will be of no use then 
to shout or cry with pain because he will continue bouncing on you so be careful and don't allow it to leap on you coming to the next paragraph if when you are walking round your yard you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard be sure it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he will give you just one kiss the word meanings of yard means a piece of land next to or around your house at times at the back of your house also caress a gentle loving touch now the explanations the poet says that while you are walking in your yard you may encounter a creature there when this creature hugs you very very tightly then believe that it is a bear the bears are thought to be good wrestlers and can give a really tight hug although a friendly hug is referred to as bear hug you can use this word bear hug if a real bear hugs you children then it may not feel friendly at all the bear hugs a man to kill him the poet father says that in case of any doubt you will find that the bear will embarrass you once again till death now we come to the next paragraph though to distinguish beasts of prey and wise might non plus the crocodile you always may tell from the hyenas thus hyenas come with a merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles now this crocodiles and hyenas both these animals i don't like at all at all at all how do you like them please write in the comment box the word meanings here beasts of prey an animal a bird etc that is hunted or killed or eaten by another no wise someone new to a job non plus be puzzled confused surprised hyena a wild animal like a dog that eats the meat of the animals that are already dead and has a cry like like human love now children i think you people have already seen this hyenas and crocodiles and leopards in the nat geo wild channels the animal planet or discovery i do usually watch these channels now the explanation of this paragraph the poet here says that a raptive vice may be puzzled and confused thus might not be able to distinguish between the different wild animals hence the poet helps to differentiate the crocodile from hyena he says that a hyena always laughs as it swallows its victims a laughing hyena's voice resembles human's laughing sound a crocodile on the other hand is said to shed tears while eating its prey children the poet thus warns the readers not to wait for a hyena to laugh or a crocodile to weep understood children now we come to the next stanza that is the sixth stanza the true chameleon is small a lizard sort of things he hasn't any ears at all and not a single wing if there is nothing on the tree it's the chameleon you see chameleon is a small lizard that can change color according to its surroundings we have usually we have seen the chamblins around in the gardens isn't it now i'll be explaining this stanza the poet describes a chamblin in this stanza he says a chamblin is a small garden lizard the spelling is lizard it's wrong here lizard it doesn't have ears or wings 
the poet father says that if you are unable to see a thing on the tree then chances are that a chameleon is sitting there a chameleon is an expert in camouflage now do you know what's the meaning of camouflage changing the color it changes color as per its surroundings and is therefore difficult to see this capacity of camouflage helps the lizard in saving it from hunters now children i think you are understanding the explanations please write how are you finding the explanations if you are not understanding please write in the comment box so that i can make it clear again i'm trying to explain it with all simple languages now i have finished the explanations of the paragraphs now i'll be discussing the literary devices now this time i've taken the pain to explain each and every paragraph because last i have seen that you had some confusions so each and paragraph each and every paragraph i've given i've explained the literary devices now in paragraph 1 the rhyme scheme is a b a b c c is followed why why it is so uh, it is so see the last words of the lines of the paragraph chance advance east beast dying line line all right then enjambment continuation of a sentence to the next line without any punctuation you remember by now i think you have learned all those literary device devices sorry children devices like and if there there is no punctuation after these words we move to the next sentence tony best all right inversion change in the format of a sentence if there should to you advance the format of the sentence is change to give a definite meaning or to give a stress to the meaning which the poet wants us to understand all right this is inversion assonance use of vowel sound o you should go o should you have o there to you o roars o all right allusion reference to a famous thing place species of animal etc like here we have done about the asiatic asiatic lion or the bengal tigers in the poem we were going to the poem but we were all in a illusion isn't it we were imagining the wild animals now the paragraph 2 the rhyme scheme is a b a b c c why round ground u u learn discern now children when i'm telling are you going through take a pencil and just going through go through the paragraphs as i'm explaining children please alliteration repetition of consonant sound r at starting of the two or more closely connected words like roaming round ra ra all right now inversion again change in the format of a sentence to give a definite meaning or to give a stress to the expression of the poet all right what is that the bengal tiger to discern the bengal tiger to discern the allusion reference to a famous thing place species of animal etc like the bengal tiger assonance use of vowel sound o or if sometime when roaring round all right now the literary device of the third paragraph i have to hurry up the rhyme scheme is a b a b c c and please children see the words view you view you peppered leopard pain again now alliteration what is alliteration children use of consonant sound isn't it what is it h in the beginning of two words 
he has h h ha ha then poetic license a liberty to the poet to change the spellings in order to create rhyme or rhythm in a poem use of lept what is the spelling of lept l e p t the spelling is there in your poem is it a correct spelling no l e a p t but the lept is used the spelling mistake has been done deliberately by the poet to create a rhythm all right repetition use of lep l e p lep word in the last line assonance assonance words repetition of the vowel sound yes correct use of vowel sound o strolling o is there for you o is there who spot who spot o o is there do no go to roar o o o o consonants use of i sound he will only lep lep i'm sorry use of l sound he will only lep lep l l lep lep l l all right now coming to the fourth paragraph the rhyme scheme again please with a pencil just no um, match it a b a b c c is followed as yard hard there bear guess keres enjambment continuation of a sentence to the next line without any punctuation if you were walking creature there alliteration use of w sound when walking w w use of h sound who hugs h h use of b sound b b now assonance use of vowel e meet a creature there all right now the poetic device of the paragraph 5 the fifth paragraph rhyme scheme is a b a b c c pre me non plus das smiles crocodiles alliteration use of consonant sound n novice non plus use of th sound the thus enjambment continuation of sentence to the next line through to distinguish might non plus the crocodile hyena thus now sixth paragraph the rhyme scheme of the sixth paragraph is a b a b c c is followed as small all thing wing free c alliteration is use of h sound here he hasn't consonants use of g sound single wing now here is a cute chameleon picture now we will come the end of the class what we do we sum up our points we just go through the main points of the poem The Asiatic lion is grand and majestic wild beast. It is found in the jungles of eastern countries of Asia. It's a huge yellowish colored beast. It roars terribly, terribly loud and its loud roar can terrify you to death. If you meet such a ferocious and powerful animal, you must be sure that he is the Asian lion. The Bengal tiger is a noble wild beast. The tiger has black stripes all over his yellowish hide. The moment you see him, he will not spare but eat you at once. Then, what are the more points? When you are strolling forth a forest, you can find a beast. He is the leopard. His hide is peppered with spots. There is no escape from him. Even you cry in pain. he will continue pouncing on you and eat you till death if you are walking in your yard you can be face to face with a bear the bear hugs you very hard now the his hug is not friendly he may press you so hard that his hugs may bring your death an inexperienced person can distinguish beasts of prey the lie will not be able to distinguish a hyena from a 
crocodile. Hyenas and crocodiles have a very deceptive appearances. Hyenas smile merrily before attacking and killing their victims. Crocodiles pretend to be whipping before pouncing upon their prey and killing them. So, next is a true chameleon is a small animal like a lizard. He has no ears at all. Neither has he a single wing. If you see such a creature on a tree, then you are seeing a chameleon. Now, with this, I have ended the explanation of the poem. Hope, children, you have liked the poem. Please do write in the comment box. How did you like the poem? Did you understand the explanations? Stay at home. Be safe. I will be sharing the extra questions in the PDF. You will be doing your NCRT question exercises with the main, uh, beautiful cover page with the message and you will be maintaining your notebooks as I always ask you to. Jai Hind.